Really? Friends, and welcome back to Wonders in Black, Journey to Antarctica, episode 17. So far, we had an adventure of a lifetime. We've seen and done so much. But this is our last day, and tomorrow we must head back towards Argentina. But we have one more excursion and a private Q&A. Are you ready for some amazing Antarctica facts? Hello friends, so we are in Antarctica. And we have Jack, who's going to tell us a little bit about where we are and where we're going. Hello, Jack. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you so much for telling us a little bit more about this amazing place. So where exactly are we? Okay, we're on the western side of the Antarctic Peninsula. And we've just come from the Galash Strait. So the Galash Strait is the main body of water that separates the peninsula from Anvers and Brabant Island, which makes it quite a spectacular passage. It seems very calm. Do you know if it's always this serene and pleasant, or does it depend on day to day, hour to hour? Day to day, hour to hour. And of course, on an expedition ship, we have our expedition leader who's constantly monitoring the weather, constantly looking at the directions of the wind, and constantly trying to find little pockets of this stillness because it makes it much more enjoyable and much safer as well for expedition travel. While we're out here, any chance of us seeing some wildlife? Oh yeah, that's why I'm out here. <laughs> that's why we're out here. I am hoping to see, this is a very good place to perhaps sight orca. The other thing we'll always see are humpback whales here, minke whales. So there's always plenty of wildlife to watch. Wow. And is there any human population anywhere around here or is it just... just no, there is a very, very small population, if you call that. For example, Port Lockroy, it's managed by the British and there's a post office there. The population there from November till March is four. Oh, nice. So it's the post person, I guess? Yes, that's right. We actually brought them down uh, on our very first voyage this season. All girls running it this year and they work there and live there for the uh, five months of the season. They have a shop and a museum and a post office. Wow, how exciting. I don't know how many, what's the percentage of people actually coming to Antarctica who the population of the world. I'm sure it's not that big. Well, so. to put it into perspective, in this tourist year, which is a very busy tourist year, there's 100,000 people. And on any given day, 100,000 people will go through Heathrow Airport. Well, Jack, thank you so much for all that amazing information. You're welcome. Yeah. You're very welcome. Yeah. Well, that was a great Q&A. Now, before we set out on our last excursion, let's explore this ship with the help of our pocket motorcycles. Ready, steady, go! Nice little bench just to relax. There you go. <laughs>
over there. What a great way to finish off a nice tour. This is Wanderers in Black, see you on the other side. And just as we were ready to go back to the ship, the Zodiac's engine seized up and stopped working. It was getting very cold, but there was nowhere to run or hide. All you could do is wait, enjoy the scenery, and hope for the best. Not sure how long we were out there for, but thankfully that day, our troubles were short-lived. was a fantastic last mission. Being out there amongst the ice and freezing waters was a very surreal and humbling experience. We will never forget our time here. Well, thank you so much for watching friends and please join us again for episode 18 where we begin our long voyage back to civilization. But first, we must journey again through the infamous Drake Passage. Ah, ah, ah. See you soon. Cheers.